Hi everybody! Um, this vlog or advice vlog is going to be about single parenting dating. I don't know how many of you all know from my get to know me tag, but I was a single parent. Single parenting dating. Dating should be done for the purpose of marriage. Meaning you're dating somebody because hopefully one day you want to get married. If you're dating somebody for a hook up and things like that this vlog isn't for you okay so there's many different ways right now that you could be considered a single parent whether you're divorced or um, other parent wasn't around or somebody is a widow whatever the case may be you may be a single parent well in my case I was um, married and that didn't work out so I was a young single mom with a young daughter and um, at the time I'll just put it like this the period of being single was about let's say I was a single parent dating for four years probably half of the time I did it correctly and the other half I did it awful so that's why I just wanted to share this advice to help some other people so here are some tips first off you want to be looking for a partner who is compatible with your situation so if you meet somebody let's say you're a single mom and you meet somebody and he doesn't like children he is probably not a good person to date he is not compatible with your situation and if a man tells you that or let's say he already has children and doesn't desire to have any more children if they tell you this up front a lot of times women we try and change their mind or say oh when they meet my child they'll think differently no, you need to believe that man and what he's telling you because those things will come even more evident the longer you all date. So, um, listen to what the person is saying up front and you need to be up front as well. Don't hide the fact that you have a child or children. Be very upfront with your situation. You're all adults. There's plenty of fish in the sea. So that would be the first tidbit I would say to do. Be upfront. Um, the second thing you want to pay attention to is the person's life situation. Are they in the mark? Are they in a position in their life where they want to move for in having a family? Because you are a ready-made family with your child. If they're not financially stable, or maybe they are in the midst of some life-changing event they are not in the position for a ready-made family. So you also wanna pay attention to what's, what stage in life this person is in. That is very key because, so the next piece of advice I wanna give is to allow you all to date separate from your children. You need some time to get to know this person individually. You have to spend as much time you and him you know, learn each other's backgrounds, compatibility, all those things separate from your children. So what I would suggest are things maybe away from your situation. If you all can date out of the proximity of your, you know, your child's reach. So for example, maybe you want to go to restaurants the next town over or do dates out of town that don't have you in mommy mode or parent mode. They need to get to know you as a person separate from getting to know you as a mom, you know, separate from getting to know you and your child. Now, the best way I would say to do it, which is when I did it successfully, was I dated for a full year before I even introduced my child to who I was dating. Why? Because you don't want your child getting attached to somebody. You don't want your child seeing you date a bunch of people so if you go a year before introducing them to your child then there is a less chance of people getting into your children's life who don't need to be or who won't be around long term so if you can wait a year before introducing your children so that's when the whole dating out of town really helps dating away from your situation as mom or parent will really come into um, you know, it would be really, really good because they're seeing you and you're seeing them as individuals. 
Now after that year is over, this is when you need to start integrating your child and start letting the person you're dating date your child. And what do I mean by that? They need to start spending some time with you and your child together on group dates the, the, as a group together, doing things that are, are, you know, fun for the child where you can see and I'm gonna speak at this situation like mine as a single mom dating a man. You can see this man interact with your child doing things your child likes to do. How does he how does he do in situations where there's lots of children? How does he do? Is he gentle? Is he kind? Is he loving? Is he giving? All those things you wanna be able to observe with your child right there. And you want your child to get comfortable with this person because if you're dating for the purpose of marriage, this will end up being this child's step parents or you know, co-parents. So you really wanna make sure that the child is as comfortable as possible. And after some time, and I'm not gonna put a time frame on this because you could be dating every single day as a group. So the child might feel comfortable after a month. You let the person you're dating and your child go on dates alone together and I would suggest these dates be in the daytime with lots of people maybe they may go on a date to the mall they might go on a date to the children's museum daytime dates where one-on-one -on -one, they're building a relationship then I would say start integrating the person you're dating in holidays birthdays and things like that and at the same time you're on year two of dating this person you're in the second year, so maybe you guys are starting premarital counseling, you're introducing each other to one another's family, you're starting to introduce your child to your uh, the person you're dating's family. All of this is a process in wanting to integrate families. So I, I find that it's very important to, to really pay attention to all the signs, all the surrounding things, okay, for example, if your child's um, not comfortable, you know, being alone with this, if your child's not comfortable being alone with this person that you're dating, that's a red flag and you might need to hold off or take some more time in one of the stages of dating to see if it's going to work out. Because this, as a single parent, the decisions that you make aren't just decisions for yourself, but they're decisions for your child as well. So you have to really um, understand that being a single parent, I find that it's really important for you to, sometimes you have to understand when to put yourself first and sometimes you have to understand when to put your child first. And ultimately, I believe that a happy parent will produce happy children. So if you feel like you want to find a life partner and have a lasting relationship, go ahead, find that so mommy is happy so that the children can have a happy a happy home life as well but the whole process takes time it takes trust and it takes rebuilding now if you have a situation where your child's parent your child's biological parent is still in the life then I also believe it's important for the person you're dating and your child's biological parent to date as well because let's say it's example of two men these men have to trust each other with the child so as the step parent you have to trust you know that this man is going to act accordingly when dealing with your new stepchild and your new wife and as a biological parent you want to make sure that you trust this new guy coming into your child's life so it's important for the for the two other two parties to date and get to know each other and they might need to do something together with the child as well outside of you. So single mom, if you're dating a man for a year, after a year, and they they are starting to date your child, they also need to get to know your ex-husband or your child's father. And the child's father, the child, and the dad and the and the person you're dating all should get together and date as well because these are the things that will help build a strong, happy, blended family because Parents set the, set the tone for how the children fare in situations. And if the parents have trust and respect among one, among one another, then it will only be beneficial for your child. So I just wanted to share some of that single parent advice. 
Um, when I say I did it the, the right way some of the time, I'm talking about, of course, my husband now and my daughter. I waited until after I dated him for one year before introducing him to my daughter. He dated my daughter, myself, as a threesome together. Then he dated my daughter alone. And then he we integrated our families. He got to know my family and my family got to know my, his family got to know my daughter. So then when we got married, it was a cohesive, easy flow. And that was after year two. So a year of dating alone, a year of dating as a family and then marriage. And the process is a long process, but it's worth it in the end. And you know, I guess I'll, maybe in the future do a video of advice about you know dealing with blended family issues and how those dynamics work and i understand that nowadays this is what we're dealing with i mean when i was younger i didn't really know people who were divorced you know everybody who i knew was parents who you know were still married my parents have been married for 40 plus years so I understand that times are changing and I am a product of that this is my second marriage and things can work and I just hope that this helped you along the way and it encourages you women single moms that it can all turn out better personally I know that I have a better situation now than I did before and I really believe that doing it this slow and steady right way helped I will say that I was in a long-term relationship before my husband and my daughter was involved much sooner and it turned out to be somebody who I ended up not marrying. So those type of ties, you just don't need to introduce that. Luckily my daughter was so young that she doesn't remember it, but I remember it and it happened. So I'm just trying to help prevent you from confusion. Um, in your family, in your heart, in your love space. It just doesn't need to be there. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And until my next two cents, see you later.